If I had a Demir shield, you wouldn't be able to be pulling this shit, Jimmy. <laughs> Welcome back, Wind Wakers, to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. You're at the Scott Spot channel, and I'm Scott. Okay, so last time we got Jimmy, Belsevis, and Bobby back to the center hall, and they activated some kind of weird uh, tractor beam that's going to take me further up in the tower. Uh, but first, we have a few loose ends to take care of on the lower levels of the tower. First of all, we need to go to the east wing. Why, you may ask? Well, oh shit, these guys are... Oh, I forgot about you guys. Luckily, they don't stand a chance against arrows. Oh, I... damn it. And Wizrobes have inhabited this place now. It's like they knew I was going to come back. However, this trip should be completely optional, I think. Okay, uh, you might remember that there was this giant eye switch here. What? That should have hit. Oh, don't even bother, yellow choo-choo. Why do I suck so much? There we go. Alright, so that activates that uh, moving platform. Come here. And now I can ride up here. Slowly. Oh, I was half expecting there to be more uh, yellow choo-choos up here. Maybe the game has decided to give me a break. And in this room, we have two more armbells knights. Not that that's anything to be concerned about. Yeah, oh shit! Oh wow, I almost forgot they could do that. Alright, now you come over here, dude. I like how they spin around and that's what causes the spikes at the base or what causes the uh, pillar to crumble. And they're dead. And that activates the treasure chest. What does it contain? It doesn't look like a particularly special chest. Alright, I'm just... I'm trying to take down the tower. To completely destroy it just by, you know, blowing up all the support beams. Actually, though, I think those are columns and they don't actually support anything. So, fuck me. Alright, let's open the chest. It's actually a pretty much a wasted trip because it's just a joy pendant, but... The, the uh, pains of a 100 percenter. Alright. So, I could be wrong, but I think that's basically... It. For the wings. Oh god. Oh shit! Oh, that was so close. I almost pulled an awesome move there. However, we now... And that was the wrong button. I just pulled out a bomb in midair. <laughs> Maybe I should just wait on the, the lift at this rate. Alright. Come on. Don't overshoot! Wow. I think that I may have just gone full autism there. Whatever, I'm just gonna waste the magic and fly all the way back. Cause fuck that. Anyway. Oh, hello. Maybe I can show you guys how to really do this now. Oh shit, there's two of them. Do you, I wish the, they would explode and take out the other one. So yeah, they spin around and explode. Like some bitches. Oh shit, no! Fuck. Man, I'm not doing so hot, I need to be careful. Okay. Yeah, you explode. Ooh, a rupee! <laughs> okay. So as I was saying, I think we're done with these east-north-south wings, or, I mean, east-north-east... Oh, wow. East-north-west wings. I'm glad you can take no fall. Oh, that reminds me. Um, First of all, let's get rid of these. Now that we, um, we can actually defeat these Bemos. Like that. It's like they're made of... Oh, what the fuck? That was rude. Dude, you want more? Well, apparently Link's not quick enough. But, oh well. Not like we don't have plenty of rupees. Okay. Now we're back here. I don't need you, King. Although, I guess that... No, I really... It probably wouldn't have sped things up at all. We need to go back to the room where we got, um... Oh, shit. Uh, that statue. Let me pull out my... Grappling hook here. Give me that. We have... This red bubble that's in here. So let me just take him out real quick. I like their laugh. <laughs> and you might remember there was an eye switch here. So let's get it. Who knew there was a, there was a treasure chest hiding back there? I did. <laughs> Actually, I thought that would have made like a treasure chest appear in the room. Not reveal one that was hidden. But oh well. And this contains... 
A treasure chart. This one is treasure chart number six. It's going to lead to the treasure at the Six Eye Reef, but we will deal with that later. However, we now um, have to deal with these guys. I think. Oh, I've... you can stun them by shooting arrows in their eyes. I forgot about that. Oh, get out of the way, skulls. All right, so that makes things a little easier. However, I also believe we can get behind them and just shoot them like that. And then they got arrows sticking out of them. Neat. Okay. That's all we needed to come back down here for, I think. So, let's go back to the tractor beam. So, instead of making you watch me make my way all the way back there, uh, I just have to go into that room on the left and then up the tower. Uh, I'm going to just cut there to save some time. And here we are. Without wasting any more time, let's just uh, get abducted by aliens. Where's this going to take us, I wonder? Oh, well. Okay, I believe this is the 4F antechamber. Maybe not. Let's... Oh, shit! Ah! Oh, stop that. You stop that. Oh, what the fuck? I guess I had to go into first-person mode for that. I need to be careful, though. Oh, hey, a joy pendant. I knew there was one in one of these pots. All right. Uh, isn't, I bet there's one on the other side, too, though. You're not going to survive this, bud. That works a little bit better, it seems. Give me them arrows. Oh, lots of arrows. All right, so we have three pressure switches, a light gate, and it looks like the big key chest is right beyond that. Uh, this puzzle's pretty simple, so let's just get the armos and call it a day. Eventually. I like the sound effect that makes. It's very satisfying. Grab it. I hate when puzzles are so simple, but they're also time consuming. Like, what else could you possibly do to solve this puzzle? I'm glad that they're not, um, hold down pressure switches, because otherwise we need a third statue. We got big key number four. Wait, number four? Is that right? That's not right, is it? It should be number three. Oh, wait, it's number four because we're in the fourth dungeon. Okay. Oh, shit, and they come alive. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna need to use my fairy if this keeps up. Oh, I killed both of them, apparently. Uh. I don't wonder how long they stay paralyzed for with that. Seems like a long time. Oh, so I did have to kill them just to get out of here. Okay, well, where does this door lead to then? Oh, we're on the tower exterior now. That's kind of neat. There is a card rock out here. Where'd he go? could shoot him with an arrow, but I want this bitch's golden feather. However, they are a lot easier to kill with the arrows because it kills them in one hit. Okay, we have a new variety of Beemos out here. They are the blue Beemos, and they can only fire in a straight line, so you don't have to... All you have to do is kill them. Oh, I guess I do have to kill them. Alright, I need to be careful because I'm down to one heart. Oh, and now we got two up here. You gonna come and... Oh, fuck. Don't die, don't die. Well, I do have a fairy, so it's not a big deal if I do, I guess. Luckily, these guys can't fire past that one plane. Oh, we're gonna need to kill these guys, though. Oh, shit. Well, there's my fairy. Hopefully, I don't need it for the boss. Run past. But, luckily, we have... There should be another fairy in here. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me, bitch! Come here. Oh, don't go in the wall. Slut. Okay. Well, there's our uh, fairy. Anything in here? Nope, just bombs and arrows. Okay. Well, with that, um, I guess we're just going to go face the boss. You guys ready? I thought we might take another two episodes to finish the Tower of the Gods, but apparently it's just one.
Okay. Um, let's see. Let me get my Picto box out here so I don't actually accidentally use the fairy. What is this thing? Alright. You might imagine that's actually our boss, so it's better to just go ahead and get it now. Oh, fun fact, don't... Oh shit, don't fall in there. In there. <laughs> I just want to see what would happen. Damn, I lost a lot of hearts on that. Okay, this is our next boss, Godon. Another classic variation of the uh, giant disembodied head with floating disembodied hands. Like uh, Irock from Super Mario 64, Andros from Star Fox, uh, Bongo Bongo from Ocarina of Time. Alright, so in order to do anything to this guy, we have to take out the hands. And as you imagine, you always shoot eyeballs with arrows. I believe it takes two arrows each, maybe. Oh shit, okay. And that does that. I didn't realize it, uh, the music changes. Oh shit, this part's cool because it's just like visually impressive. Each eye takes two arrows and then once that's done, you can load him up with a bomb. It's really an easy boss. Also of note, this is the only boss that it isn't one of Ganon's minions, so that's pretty interesting. There's that hand. But yeah, this is really an easy boss. If you know what you're doing anyway. Really, you don't even need to know what you're doing. And, if you run out of arrows and bombs, oh shit! It's not a big deal because he gives you more. Oh no! Ah! Oh shit, that was close. And, down. Have a bomb. Boom! So yeah, this guy is like a servant of the gods. And it's the same old process. There goes that hand. And... That hand. Yeah, these hands try to like smack and crush the shit out of you, but it's really not a big deal. Oh, see, went... Oh, shit! Ah! Can't see through the smoke. Alright, I'm gonna waste my last arrow so he'll give me more. Just so you guys can see what that's like. Oh damn, he got me. Ow. Yeah, he's like, here, have some arrows. Thanks, dude. Let me up. Uh. Fuck. Well, at least I got the arrows, right? The hands came back to life, but that's okay. Have a bomb. I think that should finish him. Interesting in that we didn't even need the sword at all. Thanks for sneezing up your uh, heart container there. I'll take it. Heart container number 14. Boom. Okay, make sure that you get a pictograph of Godon on the wall before you leave because uh, you can't come back and do this or get another pictograph later. It just doesn't count for whatever reason. Unless they changed that for this version, which I don't think they did. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the Lost Forever pictographs, so yeah. Okay, let's take this get out of here. Yeah, oh, we're at the uh, apex of the tower now. 
I guess we need to climb up there. Let's get our uh, grappling hook out. Oh, we got a crescent moon going on. Let me up. Oh, come on, Link. Wow, Link is doing everything he can to ruin this epic part of the story. Or this epic scene, anyway. I don't think you can ever come back up here, so take it all in. Not that we can really see anything from here. Alright, but we need to ring the bell, so let's do it. What will the Ring of Light lead us to? Find out next time, Wind Wakers. If you like what you saw, please follow me on Twitter at the Scott Spot and click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, and next time we will enter that Ring of Light and see just what our efforts have brought us. Thanks again, Wind Wakers. Can't wait. This next part is probably my favorite part of the game, so I'm excited.